Hey everybody, welcome back to Mission Story Central here at Christian Assembly. It's another beautiful Wednesday night and I've got another amazing true mission story to share with you today. Today, we're going to go ahead and start um, by talking about the small island of Taiwan. Now Taiwan is only about 90 miles wide, but it has mountains that rise up to 13,000 feet. Some of the villages in these mountains can only be reached by footpaths. No cars, there's no way to drive, and you have to reach them by footpaths. There are no roads that lead into them. And Assemblies of God churches in this area can be reached only by walking over super steep mountain trails. Walking these trails is very exhausting. Um, one often becomes so weary that they just have to have one desire, and that is to find a stretch of level ground where you can sit and rest. Sometimes even though when you sit down, you have to brace yourself to avoid falling down the mountainside. The Taiwanese mountains are very beautiful and full of lush green plants, but they are also very treacherous. And frequently masses of loose rocks fall without any warning at all. One day, missionary David was traveling alone um, on one of these trails with a pack on his back. He was headed toward a village where he was going to conduct a church service. And for no special reason at all, he suddenly decided to stop and rest, even though at that moment he wasn't particularly tired. David had just stopped, taken his backpack off, and sat down to rest when he heard the sound of falling rocks. The rocks were falling just beyond the place where he sat. He waited until the echo of the sound had died away. Then again, he hoisted up his pack onto his back. As he made his way across the stretch of trail, now strewn with fallen rocks, he realized that if he had not stopped to rest, he would have been struck by some of those rocks. And even the smaller rocks would have killed him. Thankful for his escape, David continued his journey to the village. Um, now the little rustic chapel, built of bricks and timber with a tile roof, was full of mountain Taiwanese people who were waiting for him to get there and minister to them. Two years later, David was in the United States on deputation. One Sunday morning, he spoke in the Assemblies of God Church in Phillipsburg, Pennsylvania. At the end of the service, a member of the church came to speak to him. Now David had never met this man before, and the man knew David only as a name on the list of the missionaries that his church prayed for. The man asked David, was there any time during your last term where your life was in danger? David could think of various dangers through which he had passed, but his, his mind immediately turned to the day when he had so narrowly escaped from the falling rocks. Yes, he answered, and he told the man about what had happened. Um, pardon me. He told the man what had happened on his journey through the mountains. When David finished his story, the man said to him, One day I was suddenly overcome with a heavy, heavy burden to pray for your safety. Can you tell me when it was? David asked. When the man answered, and David compared the date of his experience with the date the man had prayed, he realized that the man had been impelled to pray for David and his safety just at the time when he had stopped to rest on that mountain trail. Surely the Lord caused David to stop in answer to the prayers of this man who was all the way on the other side of the world. Guys, we're hearing a lot of these stories where the prayers of one person or two people are causing things to happen all the way across the world because God is listening. Guys, I want to encourage you if, you, if you suddenly feel the need to pray for a missionary, for your pastor, for me, for your friends, your family, it doesn't matter who, I just want to encourage you, stop, take, you know, whatever time you need and say a prayer. 
Prayer is so powerful because it is exactly what God wants. He wants us to ask him. He wants us to tell him about the needs that we have it and about how much we care for the people, all people, whether they are missionaries or members of our church or maybe people we've never met before. So I just want to go ahead and, and encourage you. I know I've said that a lot, but I really want to encourage you to pray, pray, pray. Your prayers are far more powerful than you're ever going to understand. And maybe someday, like this man in the church, you'll have an opportunity to speak with the person who you prayed for. Well, that's all we have for tonight here, this beautiful Wednesday night uh, at True Mission Story Central here at Waseca Christian Assembly. I will be back with you on Sunday for a wonderful High Point Kids lesson. And again next Wednesday for another True Mission uh, Story. So until then, I pray that you will have time and the opportunity and the desire in your heart to pray. We'll see you next time here at Wasika Christian Assembly. Bye.